you're back, everybody. My first guest tonight is an Oscar-nominated and Emmy award-winning actor who's probably best known for his work as Lieutenant Columbo. He's also starred in one of the funniest films ever made anywhere, The In-Laws. It is a real pleasure having him here. Please welcome Peter Falk. Thank you so much for coming. You know, I got to say, I was thinking about it today. I think you're in like four of my favorite movies of all time. Mad, 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 Mad World. You're in The Great Race, which when I was a kid was my favorite movie. I think The In-Laws. Probably if you're going to pick five that's funny. That's the one I like. That's the one you like. Five really that's funny. That's the one I like. I think The In-Laws, uh, The In-Laws to me is really an inspired script. But, right. Uh, you know, it's the kind of thing, I, I, I don't know how many of you have seen this picture, but it looks like random madness, it looks like just silliness. Right. And it's a miracle, because at the end, it's a coherent story. Yeah. Which, <laughs> which never happens in American movies anymore. No, no. Particularly in comedies. Yeah. Or here. It never happens here. It never ends coherently on this show. No, that is not true. Thank you. I'm a god. <laughs> um, remember... Remember, Conan O'Brien rocks, Conan O'Brien rules. That's going to be a big hit. Uh, Columbo yes. won five Emmys for you. Five Emmys. That's, that, that. I. What is that? When you have, if I had five Emmys, and I'm not kidding, if I had five Emmys, I would mount them on the hood of my car and well, drive you know, around so that everybody could see that I had five Emmys. Yeah, but you know, sometimes, you know, when you have things in a room and they've been there for a long, long time, so you don't notice every time you walk in the room that they're there. But one day I walk into the room, where's the Emmys? Right. I yell to my wife, where are the Emmys? She says, they're up in Lenny's room. I go up there, I don't see them. I said, they're not here. She says, they're on the chest facing the bed. Right. Well, now I look, I don't see them. Then I see, oh, that little black base that sits under some hair. I said, that base is the base of an Emmy. And that hair is the hair from a lady's wig. Now I understood what happened. <laughs> My wife, God love her, I could strangle her. She's, <laughs> she's, using, she's using my Emmys for a wig rack. I can't believe this is true. No, I tell you, it's true. You have, I brought a picture. People you have a picture? I people think... don't believe this. I brought a picture. Show them. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. There you go. Well, when they're all together, that, it looks like the band Aerosmith, when they're all together. <laughs> now, something you're not afraid to talk about is you I'm, have a... I'm glad you mentioned this. Columbo is on tomorrow night at ABC. I was going to mention that, no, yeah. Look. It's right here. That comes yeah. at the end. Let oh, me plug the... Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. How dare I'm you? Sorry. I got you know that. who I am. <laughs> you, you are not afraid to talk about the fact that you, that you have a glass eye, and in fact, you have a lot of fun with that. You've actually had, you played practical jokes with the fact well, that Well, the thing is side. this, you know, when you're young and you've got a glass eye, you dread that moment where some other kid is going to come up to you and say, what's the matter with your eye? Right. Because you got... You... How, how come one don't move, you know? Right. You don't, that's not good. But then after a while, when you play sports, you know, you get used to it. But when you realize that you can get a laugh, now you're home free. And uh, the first really big laugh I got was when I was playing ball. You know, at Austin High School, that's where I went to school, the, uh, the grandstand on the third base side was very close to the third base, actually. And that was important because those people could see and hear everything. And that was important because the play was at third base. And I got called out at third base. It was a bad call, no doubt about it. <laughs> and when I whipped out the eye, <laughs> and I handed it to the umpire. <laughs> and all the, all, the, all the guys in the stands, they, they could all hear what I said. And I said, you'll do better with this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we have a lot of... <laughs> go, go out and get yourself a couple of glass eyes. You've had a lot of... <laughs> Keep in your pockets. It's fun, kids. Right. You have a passion for uh, sketching nudes, and you are... You're a great... You're really a, a talented artist. And I didn't... I, I'd always heard that you, that you sketch, but I... Uh, today, we actually got a hold of some of your... Oh, really? Some of your work. Yeah, and it's, it's really... Uh, it's, I mean, that's... We had to... You can take a few liberties with it uh, yeah, yeah. for obvious reasons, but that's beautiful. Like, when did you start? When did you start drawing? What is that beautiful thing that she's wearing there? Well, you know, we're a network <laughs> show, and I will not tolerate filth. <laughs> uh, right. I thought, no, that, that, uh, drawing is, you know, it's terrific drawing. I, I, how I started, I don't know. Uh, oh, I know now. I was doing a, I know, I was doing a play, that's right. I was doing a play, Prison of Second Avenue. I was staying at the Wyndham Hotel, it's on 58th Street. And on 57th Street, I always used to walk down 57th Street, and I passed the building that said, Art Students League. And to this day, I don't know why I did it. I stopped and I walked in there, and it was quiet, and it was like an old wooden floor, and I walked, and then I, I saw a door, I opened the door, there she was, weighed on her left hip, chest out, bare ass. <laughs> What a wonderful term, bare ass. <laughs> Completely naked, and you just thought, you just thought, this is where I'm coming tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, is your wife okay with the fact that, you know, you're in a room with a beautiful nude, nude woman a lot of the time when you're sketching? You know, there's a famous story about, about artists and their models. This artist, he was drawing a, a, a model, and it wasn't going well. So he said, well, come on, we take a break. We'll have a cup of coffee. So she put on her robe, and they're sitting there having a cup of coffee. Now his wife's car comes pulling in. He hears it coming down the driveway. So he says to the model, quick, take off your robe. She'll think something's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, always, do you always just sketch uh, women? Do you ever sketch nude men? I checked. Uh, well, I, I really prefer... I prefer women, really. <laughs> Me I'll too. You, I, 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 I want to make that very clear. <laughs> uh, co now, let's get to this show. Columbo, one of the most enduring television characters uh, of all time. Uh, Columbo, uh, in, this, in this new Columbo episode, goes uh, to a rave party. Because Columbo's now, it's the new millennium, and, and this, this one's called Columbo Likes the Nightlife, I guess. Columbo, I'm not making that up. Columbo goes to a rave party. Right. I, I want to see that. I want to see Columbo at a rave party. Yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't my idea. The, the network said to me, you know, how about Columbo in, in, the, in the world of the rave? And I said, great. What is it? <laughs> you mean, didn't know what a rave was. I had no idea. You know, don't you? I bet you, you Well, I know, know what a rave is. Yeah, I, I know what a rave is. I don't go a lot. You know? I'd stick out like a sore thumb. Like, <laughs> I'd be the one guy in a room like, what's happening here? <laughs> Stop it, all of you! Stop it! I don't really... You know, I'm not a loosey-goosey kind of yeah. guy, but... Um, does, now, Columbo doesn't... You know, a lot of kids take, you know, there's like a lot of ecstasy and... I mean, Columbo's not on ecstasy in this, is he? He's not no, wigged no, out no, Columbo, no. no. I don't know, but the one thing he does do... And I never dreamt I would see this day. Colombo is wearing, on top of the raincoat, a pink boa. <laughs> you gotta, People say no, you, you no. Gotta, you got to tune in just, <laughs> just to, to see that. Just to see that. Yeah. 8 o'clock tomorrow night, yeah. ABC. <laughs> Columbo. Why don't I tell them when it's on? <laughs> Columbo Likes the Nightlife airs tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on ABC. You know what? I'll tell you something. Uh, you know, I've been doing this now almost 10 years, and you've been on my very short list of people that haven't done the show that I always wanted to have on the program. This is a real treat for us. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You. Peter Falk, stay right there. Bridget Moynihan is coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.